What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Thomas and today we are looking at what's left to drop for Supreme Spring Summer 2023. Basically all the exciting items you can still look forward to, what we have left in store for us, and kind of my opinions on the best items still left to drop and maybe what will go on sale. Let's get right into it. Sup Thomas. Guys, remember to follow me on Twitter at TomasoVT. Stay tuned and subscribe to the channel for all Supreme Streetwear sneakers news. We are so close to a thousand subs on here. Help me get there. I really appreciate all the support. So before we look at all of what's left to drop, let's quickly look at what's rumored to release for this week, week 13. I posted this on my community tab yesterday, but the Supreme Bernadette Corp basketball is rumored to come out this week. Very cool oil spill, iridescent looking basketball. The Kurt Cobain sweater is coming soon, guys. I think maybe this week, maybe next week. It would be really sick if it comes out this week, so stay tuned once again. All right, we do have what's left to drop here. And I swear, some of these have already released, like this Anorak. I'm not totally sure though, right? We've definitely seen some Anoraks, but I don't know if this one specifically has dropped. We are here on supremecommunity.com. Haven't really been on this website too much, but hey, it seems pretty cool. The magazine short sleeve shirt, definitely a cool one. I like how you can give these a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I think there's a guy that does videos similar to mine named Robert, and he uses this website, I believe. I was checking my analytics one time and saw that there was other people that make these exact same videos, believe it or not. It's not an original concept, but anyway, guys, how is your weekend? How is your week going? Let me know. Are you excited to be copying more Supreme? Kind of what have you been feeling? Here is the Kurt Cobain sweater. Looks extremely nice. I love the quilted look to it. The, the, it's weaved, like sewed and weaved. I don't know what it's called, guys. It's a damn sweater. It looks sick. I'm definitely going to be going for it, even though I'm not a huge Kurt Cobain fan. I think it's too sick not to go for at least. One of my favorite items of the year, the Perfect Season. This is actually the one I'm going to go for. It's probably one of my last personal Supreme items. I just love the colors and I love that it's a generic sports jersey. I think it's super sick. Going to wear that to some football games. We have the Feedback Soccer jersey still up. Really sick, I love the way this looks, like the kind of iridescent, what is that exactly? Ultraviolet film error? It looks like some kind of corrupted file got uh, got messed up. Also have this Championi basketball jersey. This is pretty cool, I like the colors right here. Definitely a pretty fun piece, I like the pattern on the Supreme with the raised lettering right there. And then it's Campioni Indivisi. Anyone with their Latin, let me know what that means. Dash striped T. This is actually pretty solid. I actually really like this piece a lot. This font is pretty fun. I like the stripes, pretty clean. And man, this site is actually super useful. A hey, shout out to my boy, Andrew. We got a little small box tee. Well, it's, sorry, it's not a small box. It's a washed script, okay? But it's a small logo, okay? So give him that. See, yeah, this isn't totally updated. This already released. I feel like, no, it didn't. We just had that really ugly polo release last week, and that's what I got it confused with. Gradient mesh jersey, sick, Terry Raglan. And guys, I'm definitely just, flipping through them until we get to the Mustang jersey. This thing is one of my favorite pieces of the season. And I hope you guys didn't just see what I think I saw. This is absolute blasphemy right here. Downvoting the Mustang reversible jersey. I'm telling you guys, if there was one shirt that represented my subscriber base, it'd be this one. I imagine us all 
getting these jerseys and playing some pickup hoop at the local basketball court and just absolutely shutting it down. So please tell me you guys are with me on that one. Jersey collage is pretty fun. I do like all the different styles of jerseys and it looks like they are, it doesn't look like it's actually embroidered, but I kind of can't tell. It looks screen printed, but I really can't tell. Cotton blend jersey. I'm going to give that one a down vote as well. Not really feeling it. Same with this one. Knit stripe tank top. Very meh. Very underwhelming colors. Can of toothpaste maybe. Not a huge fan. Sequin stripe zip polo. That's pretty crazy, but I think that's a horrible looking design right there with just that flat gray zipper with a polo. This should be a fun, like, I don't know. It's just, it's too much. and It's just not executed correctly. This is the Divine Zip Up hooded sweatshirt. This is pretty cool. I actually really like the Divine right there in the front. They've been doing these kind of wash, like vintage looking jackets for a little bit. And I think this one looks pretty cool. I actually really like that piece. Piping Arc hooded sweatshirt. Really can't go wrong with something like this. I don't really remember this piece from the preview, but I really like those raised letters on the front, 94 on the back. Yeah, it can't go wrong with this one. I think that white and green is kind of a sleeper too. But yeah guys, stay tuned again. If you're still watching, I will be doing the full partial whatever drop list tomorrow, hopefully, hopefully before Wednesday whenever supreme drops gets them out and these are the fuck pants or the archive denim jacquard regular jean here is the baggy jean boom and sorry i didn't zoom in to all the old pictures that i was looking at, at the beginning of the video i did not click on them <laughs> this is probably the next one i'm gonna get i think i'm gonna get these pink shorts just because I really want some uh, just some new Supreme shorts. I never really had any. And this is kind of my favorite design. And I just, I don't know, I have a lot of black shorts. I have some gray, I hate this green. I have some, yeah, I have some orange. Don't have any pink. And I think that could match the perfect season jersey. Nylon water short, definitely will be passing on these guys. I do not recommend getting Supreme for swim trunks. It's really not worth it. You can get much better pairs. I got a pair of reversible swim trunks that I can also work out in at Old Navy. They're camouflaged, they look sick, and they were 10 bucks. Shit you not, they might have been 20. But hey, I love them. Small box, baggy, short right there. Mesh short. Again, not really worth it in my opinion. If you're gonna go with a Supreme short, you might as well go with something like this, something crazy with like an old English font or just Supreme really big in the front. Even like a cargo short could be kind of cool, like the red camo right there. Getting closer to the end, frayed patchwork baggy denim. Okay, now I'm really just gonna click on the stuff that I'm really looking forward to. We, get the, we got the magazine camp cap. I think this is a pretty decent piece. You know, it shows some of the classic Supreme photos on there. I wish it had like Kermit and some of the other ones. It looks like it's only a few reusing them. I don't know. I wish it was kind of more of a greatest hits. We do have more S logos coming out. The hat that I am most excited for is the racing six panel. I kind of want to get two of them. I'm definitely thinking about getting the yellow I want the black, I just have a ton of black hats, but I think maybe the yellow and the navy would be two good pickups. I also love the green, they're just all so great. It'll definitely be a game time decision, and I hope I can get one, you know, for retail, maybe one on sale. I don't know how the sale really works though. I don't know which pieces they decide to sell, like if they sell hats too often, not really sure. Kevlar hat, which is interesting, wonder how like durable that will be if it really is made of Ke Kevlar. Joan of Arc is interesting, given that the Joan of Arc Supreme t-shirt and collab from 
like 2013, 2011 is so famous. So it's interesting they have a full damn paragraph right there. I kind of hate it. I think it's one of the corniest designs I could have done. They could have re-released this iconic design in a different way on the front of it, all over print, on the back of a jacket, on a tank top, on a towel. But they had to do it like that. And that's just, I don't know, it's annoying. Nameplate right here. This one's decently cool. I don't love that it's a trucker hat, to be honest. Got the over-dyed camo. I think that might be like water reactive, potentially. Perhaps not. They have done that in the past. So apparently the Soto Pocket Torch was removed from the preview site. Don't hold me to it, but we might not see that release. We still have the Tonal Logo towels, the James Brand Palmer knives. I'm actually looking forward to those knives, I should say. And yeah, the rest of the accessories, Diamond Plate Dog Bowl, Charcoal Grill, the Porcelain Jaguar is absolutely hilarious. That would be a great pickup. I think this will be worth something someday, especially because it says Supreme on the side right there. The fishing pole also is extremely, extremely sick. <clears throat> I'll be trying to go for that if it's under like 500 bucks. And yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Everything else just kind of run of the mill accessories. What do you guys think of the rest of what's left to drop in Supreme Spring Summer 2023? What are the items that you need? What are you passing on? Let me know down in the comment section below. It's been your boy Thomas and I'm out. Peace and butt grease. See ya.